What's up, everyone? Justin with Is It Scary Wisconsin. I'm back here tonight with my best friend, Gage. And tonight it's time for another of our no hand holding, no BS, no beating around the bush haunted attraction reviews for Perdition Pines Haunted Event in Wisconsin. <laughs> Now, we were already up in the area to go to the Haunted Sawmill in Merrill. And we were looking for another haunted attraction in the area. To which, of course, I said, hey, Gage, why don't we go check out Perdition Haunted Event, Perdition Pines Haunted Event. I've never been there. I've never heard of it. I didn't know it existed until about a week and a half ago. Now, that being said, I'm happy we had a chance to visit this haunted attraction. For those of you who are coming here from Perdition, who are just now becoming acquainted with our channel, our reviews are quite simple. 40 points for general, 40 points for scares, 20 total personal possible points and then we give a score out of 100 10 for each yeah 10 personal points we both have up to 10 personal points to give out we do not have to give out all 10 so if a haunt is really stellar does a lot of things really right uh you'll see that they'll get eight or nine or ten points if you're apparently bayport high school's music mayhem holy cow <clears throat> so let's just take a moment here and talk about Perdition Pines Haunted Event. It is a classical haunted walk through the woods in Anago, Wisconsin, at least according to our GPS. Now, my thoughts going into this event. The first thing I did was comb their website. Man, they've got their hours, they've got their prices, They've got all of this stuff listed so clearly. I mean, these guys got it going on when it comes to communications and their social media here on their website. I really like that about this haunt going in. So I think without further ado, we're going to jump in and we're just going to get right in to the scores. I'll start with general. Is there a website? Yes. Does it have good information? Yes. Two points. Is parking available on site? Yes. Is it clearly labeled? Yes. It even tells you on the website, like park here, don't touch the fence, do this, don't do that. They're very, very descriptive about the different things. And I liked that a lot. That was something that I could appreciate. Is there a clearly labeled and attended ticket booth? Yes. And does it present prices and rules? Yes. The crazy part is, you would not believe how often we go to haunts that initially don't have their prices listed. You know, I'm totally fine if a haunt wants to give me the rules at the attraction or at the door to the attraction. I'm fine with that, right? But if the haunt doesn't have its prices listed at its ticket booth, it's kind of lazy. It's, a, it's more of a... It's more of a quality of life thing for the customer. Uh, clear queue lines. Yes, two points. Are the attractions clearly marked? Yes, two points. Are atmospheric music and audio selections appropriate when used? Yes, two points. Did actors stay in character? Yes, all five points. I didn't see any actors break character. I didn't see any actors interacting with each other in a way they shouldn't. Was the haunt fully and well staffed? I said yes, and I gave them four out of five possible points. I felt like the trail could have used another actor or two in certain areas. There was some significant dead zones. Was there clear directions through and after the haunt was over? Yes, two points. Was the lighting used appropriate? Yes, two points. Were there any unusual scents? Yes, but I gave one point because it wasn't necessarily strong and something that I really noticed as being out of place. The haunt is already outside, so the outdoor scents aren't going to trigger that for me to give you the points. But I was looking for a 
really heavy scent, uh, whether it was blood, rust, um, anything gor from Gorgalore, something to get me, something to trip off that, oh, yep, scents, didn't get that, but I did get some light pine scent in one of the rooms, so I gave the point for that. Did you catch another group? No. I will touch on that later. Was the scenery appropriate? Yes, two points. And and no for catching another group, two points. Did the haunt maintain immersion? Yes, one out of two points. More on that later. Was the walking path safe and or well maintained? No, zero out of two points. Did the haunt feel appropriately priced? Yes, two points. Did the haunt have a good atmosphere? Yes, one point. I'll talk on that later. Gage. My total was 34 out of 40 <clears throat> points. Go ahead with the scares. For scares, did Atrus attempt to scare you? Yes, two points. Were masks dues of good quality or makeup? Yes, two points. Did props seem real and scary? Yes, two points. Were actors in the correct positions to enhance their scares? Yes, two points. Were there a variety of monsters unless a specifically stated theme? Yes, two points. Did any actors try to scare twice in a scene? Yes. Did any actors try to scare three times in a scene? Yes. Each being two for a total of four. Did any actors scare from below or above the waist? Yes. Each being two, total of four once again. Now, was there more than jump scares in the haunt? Out of five points, I gave them four out of five. Felt like I would say a good majority of it was really jump scares. Nothing too different or fancy about that one. Uh, was there a go home scare or a scary very last room? Yes. Were there were so now this would traditionally be in our normal reviews. Were the scares the same as last year, and was it just the same old scary? But the thing is, we weren't there last year, so this is a brand new haunt. That being said, this will be just an overall uh, experience modifier out of five points. Out of five points, I did give them three out of five. More on that later. Did any actors seem well trained? Did did actors seem well trained and enthusiastic? Yes, two points. Were all props and animatronics in working order? Yes, two points. Were there any unique scares? Yes, two points. Did any anyone scream "Get out"? For two points, we took off the whole two. There were multiple instances. Did any actors? Did any sounds used to enhance the scares? Now the thing is, there were lack thereof sounds, which is not a bad thing. Being in a a uh, uh, field, you know, oh my goodness, a trail, you're not going to be having sounds. You want that dead silence. You're walking through the woods. You're not going to be hearing ram bam, thank you, ma'am, blazing music. <laughs> so, out of all of that, I gave them thirty five out of forty points. That brings our current total to 69 points. <sighs> I actually liked this haunt a lot. It was very enjoyable. It was. It just it, it could have been better. It would have been significantly more enjoyable if. Now let's jump into some general stuff. Perdition Pines is 80% of an excellent haunted attraction. This is when I go and I go off on That's a exactly trail. what you said, leaving that yep. trail, too. Yep, I walked away from that haunt, and I said, this is 80% of an excellent show. Not a good show, not a great show, an excellent show. That's the highest tier. With a little more actor training, getting rid of that fresh meat and that... Uh, getting rid of I don't think anybody said fresh meat there but I think I know for a fact that they said get out multiple actors use the phrase get out which is a haunt is a lazy haunt acting don't say get out find something else to say um it's 80 percent of an excellent attraction with a little actor training they will have an excellent show two actors said get out and or fresh meat you know variations of those kind of things these are scare acting no-nos and considered lazy lines don't say that and also we did have an actor on the trail that said boo don't say boo scare me with something else i heard it at least once for sure that aside my only other complaint about perdition is the absolutely terrible walking path it is covered in roots 
cut off stumps, and medium sized rocks. A few days next spring must be spent cutting, moving, grinding, and filling in this path as it completely killed any sense of atmosphere or immersion that we could have had, which is why you guys lost points for atmosphere, for immersion, and for the safe walking path. I as get well it. as overall experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, right? I totally understand this is outside, this is in nature, and I totally understand it says right on the website, you must be physically able to do this event. I get it. But those things in the path completely destroyed our immersion for this haunted event. And it was it was such a good show. We were talking on the way home how bummed out we were that we missed at least half of it because we were walking like this. Staring at the ground, staring at our feet. There is no way we are the first people to say that to you. There is just no way somebody hasn't brought this up. It killed the immersion, it killed the atmosphere, and it absolutely ruined any wow factor that the, that the event could have. And it was really disappointing. That must, not should, must be fixed before next season. Because your show will be light years better. And it's not that much work. I did it all the time growing up. One or two days with a group of people out there. And it can be done very, very easily. I liked the heated waiting area and the midway area. It was awesome. It was small and quaint. A nice, tight-knit experience. I recommend that each actor here who is serious about haunting starts listening to Haunt Topic Radio and some form of Scare Acting 101 and Scare Acting 102. I also recommend listening to a few verbal classes from Japes Palace. Now, there are some kudos that I want to give to a few of the actors and actresses on the trail because some of you were doing things that I did not expect. Okay? And we're going to touch on that a little bit later. But while some of you need additional training, some of you were incredibly talented. And I can see why Perdition Pines is on a lot of people's go-to list now. Some of your scares were sublime. That means good, great, excellent, by the way, Gage. And they landed. What does that mean? <laughs> and they landed perfectly. Some of your scares were mid and sucked. Your positioning on most scares was awesome. Remember, if I come into a scene or a room and I see you, there better be something else happening. I only encountered this once or twice, and while this wasn't too egregious of a violation, I did notice it. I shouldn't come into a scene and see an actor or actress just standing there. And if I do... That has to be the source of something else that's going to happen. Overall, we had fun at Perdition. We did. And we would go again. I plan to come visit you again in two to four years. And honestly, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you guys improve. Gage, some general thoughts on Perdition Pines Haunted Event. Your microphone's off. I've been coughing quite a bit. First off, I want to say that, yes, that trail, the groundwork needs to be done. I spent most of my, I'm just, again, I want to sit, speak my piece. I know you said it, but I spent most of my time looking down. I, it was hard for me to really enjoy the actors and actresses and their scares 
Because as you said, I'm looking down the entire time. I'm not looking up and trying to experience a scare. And some of those scares were really, really spectacular. You told me. You're like, wasn't that crazy? Or did you see that? I'm like, no. No, because I, you would think looking at me, I'm, you know, I could pick up my feet. Do I shuffle? I was tripping. The whole time, I was, I'd say half the time going through the haunt, I'm singing that song, tripping, oh, stumbling, oh, you know, that good old song. <laughs> and I want to make, I want to bring back that cringe statement I said for Terror on the Fox. If you, if you go up, down, left, and right for people with bad knees, this might not be a haunt for you. <laughs> I want to say every, every video or every time we're going through a haunt, Justin's got to quote me on that. I'm like, just shut up, dude. Okay, I'm trying. So moving on. I really like that uh, the opening concession area. I really like the little axe throwing uh, area. I like the food, the little themed mixed drinks, I guess you guys had. I was going to enjoy it, but I had to skip out on that. Uh, it was really, it was a sight to behold. It was fun and a nice little quaint walk up a humble hey let throw some axes buy buy a drink hang, hang out by the fire and get get line ready it was really nice i uh, the only thing i feel like i got a nitpick about that though is you guys gotta have a better photo op opportunity there because you and i we like to thank have a you tradition. for saying that yeah seriously i'm sorry to cut you off thank you You're for right. saying that i agree with you because you and I were looking around, because we have a tradition of post on Instagram where we're at before we go in the line. And um, we were looking. We had to look. And then we realized there's a little inflatable with a little sign below it that says uh, Perdition on it. And Perdition Pines Haunted Event. And I'm thinking, that's it? I feel like I kind of want to go over in the line where it looks visually stunning. You know, I just, I feel like... It shouldn't be that hard. I feel like a jerk for saying it, but it shouldn't be that hard just to put up a big sign and then put some cool carved out pumpkins on the each side of it. You know, just spice it up. Make something that says, hey, Perdition Pines. I want to post this on Instagram so I can share with my friends and let them know where I'm at. So that was a nitpick I want to have about the concessions area. Other than that, your main lobby I, is very enjoyable. It's humble. It's quite I enjoy it. I'm ready to move on to bonus points if you are. Sure. Uh, I gave a bonus point most. Most actors were really into their work. This was excellent and made a simple haunted walk a really solid experience. I gave another bonus point. There were multiple actors crawling and backwards walking bent over for scares. It was cold and they did this stuff outside. Wow. That takes commitment to the haunt and to the product. Very impressed. I gave an additional point. The initial vibe here when you first pull in, we got out of the car and we got to the, like the porta potties where the lights start. But that initial vibe walking up that hill and seeing the midway area and the lines and stuff, it had a very chill vibe. Is that fair? Is that fair? It did. It had a very chill vibe. And I really liked that. Come hang out at the fire, get something to eat, throw some axes, get your tickets boots and pants and boots and pants get in line go get spooked get out it was a good time and the vibe going up there was good when we first saw those lights in that little trail up i was like what are we getting ourselves into i like it good vibe good initial vibe i also gave an additional point the uh, hiding spots and timing was excellent I kept saying, I literally turned to Jenna and said, oh, that's just a prop. I guess that's, bam, actor popped out and got me with a scare. That was great. And there were multiple occasions where this happened, too. I mean, 
And the actor wasn't like standing at the doorway to stick, to stick his chainsaw in the face of the first person that came in the room. No, he waited until two of two or three of us were in the room. And as I'm walking in, he's ripping and revving that chainsaw. And by the time you got in there, he's screaming it in your face. It was a good scare. And the timing was good. Great actor timing and placement. That was excellent. And I have an additional bonus point I want to give out. It felt like we were the only group on the property. Because they give plenty of time, almost five minutes or more, between groups. I like this a lot. Because this is the kind of haunt that if you have groups catching each other, you are dead in the water. A group cannot catch another group in this haunt. A group cannot see another group in this haunt. It will 100% kill the vibe and kill the atmosphere. Whatever atmosphere is left from the walking path, it will absolutely kill it for any group if there's not enough time between groups. So to anybody from Perdition that sees this, if you're given five minutes, give six minutes. If you're given four minutes, give five minutes. Don't be afraid. Give them that space. Because if we run into somebody in that, I'm telling you right now, if this is a different conver this is a different conversation, if we run into another group there, because the whole event would collapse. That's all I got. Five bonus points for me. My bonus points. <clears throat> I've never really given out a bonus point for this, but I like it. Their name, Perdition. I've never heard of that name. I had to Google it. I had to figure out, like, what in the heck is Perdition? What does that mean? And it really kind of fits the theme of it. So call it tacky, but I had to give a bonus point for that. My next bonus point was the actor energy. You said it. You got people backwards crab walking, and you got people coming from below under wheelbarrows nonetheless and i didn't even suspect that they got some good scares out of me and the timing on that one specifically we had all walked by it and you were coming up it was freaking perfect it was very enjoyable i it, i it stuck out to me it scared me and i had to give a bonus point for that actual energy nonetheless everyone there was hitting it even though they did say some big bad words of the haunt industry you still nailed it with that energy and i had to award it yeah the energy My, the energy was good that was not the problem it was definitely not the problem the next bonus point is the as as you pointed out earlier that chainsaw for once a chainsaw actually scared me at a haunt i i don't i, I always see a chainsaw i'm like whoa whoa I haven't seen that one before. Wow, you sure got me. But this guy, they timed it so well. And it freaked me out. It, it was a good job. I had to give a bonus point for that one. You are also my runner-up for the MBA. I had to note someone else on that. More on that in a second. My next and last bonus point would have to be the... As I stated earlier, the fun concession stands and the axe throwing. Um, concession stands is in, like I said, the themed drinks. Calculating math, give us one second. 78 out of 100. A 78 out of 100. And, that's, out of 100 and, it's, and it's a good haunt. And it's it a is good a good haunt. haunt. Yeah, let uh, it be known. A seventies is not a terrible bad haunt. Well, I don't anything, think we've... anything above a seventy-five is considered good. Mm -hmm. so. Exactly, it's still a worth visit. Is yeah, what it's I want definitely definitely worth your time to visit the haunt, especially if you're going to other haunts in the area, like the haunted sawmill. Uh, it, I mean, it's a good show, and it's fun. And Who's it's... your MPA? Sorry. Um, so for me, there was this younger girl that was hiding behind a prop. And I was, like I said, I was talking kind of like, oh, there's nobody behind. It's just a prop. And she pops up. She's like, hey. And I was like, that was excellent. She's like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Like, she knew. That's she knew cute. That. I like yeah. that. It was just, it was perfect because 
I literally thought there was nobody. She had the same color dress on, same color everything on as the prop, and she just popped over and like got a great scare out of me. It was so well done. You know, there's one thing I want to say about Perdition is that, albeit most of it appeared to be a bunch of kids working it, they did a great job. Seriously, they did. It was a great time. I wouldn't say kids. I would just say younger people working it. Yeah, that was too strong a word. Younger people. You say, kid, MBA, you say kids, people think like 12 to 14 year olds. I was wrong. I, I guess I'm getting too old. I got grays in my hair now. I, I'm I'm getting up there. I'm one foot in the grave. My next MV, my MVA, again, runner up was the chainsaw. My MVA is the actress at the beginning. Because as soon I, I don't really see many don't, haunts. Don't say it. Just don't say it. Don't yeah, fly. I guess. She knows who she is, and she knows she, who she is. She I got, made eye contact with you, and I said, "Nice job." Like you're like, "Nice job," and then you're like, "Wow, already!" Like there was no like it was very very first as yes. soon as you go, and I I laughed about it because I was like I I wanted to give her the golden actor badge in my pocket, but I didn't want to distract her and interrupt her work because she was really going hard. <laughs> because not only did she do it at that point. She did it at multiple other points yeah. throughout the hunt. She, she worked, followed us. She probably worked the first four, the first four corners with us, mm -hmm. the first four turns with us, and got us at every one of them. And and it was un, unexpected too. It was they were all good. And did she scream? Yeah. Did she scream? It felt like someone was dying in there because I yeah. could hear her while I was waiting sometimes. So, yeah, so that's was, all I want to say. Yeah, the work was the, the like I said, the effort from the actors, for the most part was really good at perdition and the actual event itself really solid there is just a few things that has to be hammered out and that has to be changed and fixed up there i mean mm -hmm. this haunt is easily if they change a few things and work on a few of those things it's easily an 82 to an 85 i mean and that's a really really good score there was five or six points left on the table if they just tended yeah. to that tended to that yep. path yep so to anybody watching this, for, uh, obviously, if you're an actor or actress there at Perdition and you found anything we said in our review tonight useful or helpful to you, please let us know in the comments. Like the video if you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to Is It Scary Wisconsin so you never miss a Wisconsin Haunted House review. We do have merch available in the description because Gage is going to remember to put the links in. Make sure you guys are following us on Instagram, Is It Scary Wisconsin. Remember... There's a lot of imitators popping up around the state when it comes to haunted attraction reviews. If it ain't as scary, it ain't shit. And at the end of the day, there is one question we have to ask about Perdition Pines haunted event. Is it scary, Wisconsin? Have a good night.